Hey everyone, I'm Allison and you're watching Long Island Thrifter. Today I'm in Oyster Bay, Long Island. Let's go thrifting. It is so hot outside. According to my car, it's 93 degrees, but it's probably 200% humidity. Today I'm in the North Shore town of Oyster Bay. It is such a charming place to visit. Right across the town hall parking lot is the thrift shop I'm going to right there. It's called Hope for Long Island Thrift Shop, and it is such a fantastic place. You will absolutely love it. As soon as I walked in, the first room is filled with women's clothing and shoes as well. I did take a look at a pair of shoes here. These soft spot Mary Janes were in really good condition. They're a size eight and they were only $7. But look at the treads on these. They're actually, they don't look like they've actually been worn. So I didn't pick them up, but when I looked them up later, I did find that they do have a great resale value. So it's something to look for when you're out in the wild. Then I walked into the hard goods area, which of course I have to take a look at all of the mugs and do a once over. They also had some precious moments, which I always equate to snow babies or hummels, but these are only $2 and I know there are people that do collect them out there. Uh, so the prices are really very good here. There's a lot of knickknacks and houseware items in this area, but one thing I did notice was this humidor, a desk humidor. And when I opened it up, it actually had all of the items you need. I'm not a smoker, but I do know a little bit about humidors. This is only $3, so it was a very good price. Then I walked over to the linens. This did not have a label on it, but it felt like silk and it was only $3 and it's a table runner. You could do such a great job here if you were on a shoestring budget and needed to redecorate a little bit, you know, spruce up your place. You could do it here with some great items, really beautiful pieces. They had pillows, they had linens. I did notice these sheets right here, which were in really good condition. They were $6 and Perry is the brand. Another name that you should probably keep an eye out for when you're out thrifting. It has good resale value, definitely. Over here, I noticed this bowl didn't have my glasses on. I think it was Fire King, but it was only $2. And then these teacups, look at this price, 50 cents for these vintage teacups. You can't go wrong with these prices at all. Over here in the glassware, I noticed these Libby frosted gold leaf goblets, which were only $2 a piece. Really another great deal. Uh, I looked them up later. They do okay. I think selling wise, it's uh, they probably will stay in your inventory for a little longer than you anticipated. They were doing Christmas in July in one corner of the store, which I love. These Spode bread and butter dishes were only a dollar each. I mean, you cannot believe the bargains here. Really great. Look at these prices if you bought them on eBay. And they've also been selling in July. So you can sell your Christmas stuff all year long. Also in this corner were these beautiful square plates by a company called 222 Fifth. These plates were only $2 and $3 each. They're very inexpensive, but you could have a beautiful holiday tablescape with them, couldn't you? When I looked online, look at the prices for these individually. So really great deals here. I can't say this enough. And then I went back to the Spode. I had to have the mugs. Yes, I did stop for these mugs. These are peppermint. The candy cane handles, they have the famous Spode Christmas tree on them, but they have a really great resale value. So for $2 each, I decided to pick those up and take them home. I walked around the corner and up the stairs. It's more the men's section and there's also bathing suits and there's luggage upstairs. I did check out these shoes, which I did not recognize the brand. They were in really good condition. I probably should have picked them up. I think they were only $8 and it's by unstructured and i i just decided not to i couldn't find any comps on them so i left those behind they also have some sporting goods up here and this turns into christmas upstairs at the holidays i did look at the men's bathing suits and i found these i should have bought them i know i should have peter millar men's swim trunks they have a great resale value definitely look out for them 
And then as I was going through, I did find a pair of Billabong swim trunks as well. When I looked those up, the resale value was only about 20 bucks, and I think these were five, so I left those behind. For those of you in the denim area of reselling, these are only $6, and they're Levi's. I don't know enough about denim, so I did not pick these up, but it's a good place to find some inexpensive jeans. Initially, I picked up these Under Armour running shoes. They were in really good condition. They didn't have much wear on them. They were about $8, but the resale on them was, mm, I mean, these are for sale ones. I did only find one pair that sold for $15, so I, I decided not to pick those up. Then over in the kids area, I found this adorable Emperor Penguin and Baby plush. It had its tags on there. It was only $3, so I really felt like I had to pick this up. It was in perfect condition. Then when I looked at the comps, these are prices for sale. I only found one that sold and it only sold for $15, but I still picked it up anyway. Then I saw this little Simba stuffed plush. It's actually a collaboration between Disney and Kohl's. And when I looked it up, I decided to pass on it and then I saw this Kellogg's NASCAR racing truck. It's Terry Labonte was the driver of the race car. It doesn't have the race car with it, and I didn't notice till I got it home that the back doors were missing, but it was only 50 cents. And then when I looked up comps on really good ones, obviously these run anywhere from 20 to $23. I probably will put mine up for like $9 and be happy with that. Then over back in the glassware, because you know I have to keep going back there. I saw these really pretty candlesticks, only $3, but they were super heavy, way too heavy for my taste. But again, this is great for tablescapes. And then I saw these glasses. Oh, I didn't see these the first time. And I picked those up right away because they are Culver Starlight Highball Glasses. These are ones that are for sale and those are also in really great condition. The ones that I picked up, they were $2 each. Here's a set of shot glasses that sold for best offer, so probably about 25 bucks. Then my favorite find of the day, this is actually at home after I cleaned it, this Calphalon grill pan. It was kind of dirty, but I threw it in the sink and it didn't take much to clean it down. It didn't look like it had been used very often. And I have to tell you, this is a keeper, not reselling it. These run for 30 bucks pre-owned. So I bought it for six, it was a great deal. Hope for Long Island Thrift Store is a branch of the North Shore Community Church in Oyster Bay. Proceeds from the shop go towards serving single mothers, youth ministries, and community outreach programs. I love helping out these small thrift shops that do good work in the community. This one even has a free cabinet to take items if you want or need them for free. I had great conversations with Joe, the store manager, and Barbara, the lead volunteer, along with Doris and Molly, who were working that day. These are all really terrific people who are doing great work for the community. I love going to these little thrift stores, checking out what they have, and I love the philosophy of the store, which is basically, we just want to keep moving the inventory. So their prices are really reasonable. You can't beat it. And I highly recommend Hope Thrift in Oyster Bay, Long Island. Thanks for watching Long Island Thrifter. If you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button. And if so inclined, please subscribe. Until next time, keep on thrifting.